hi guys thank you so much for joining me today i'm so glad that you're here welcome today we're talking about the kind of christian to be many times we say we're christians but we just know that we are church goers god is inviting us to a place of a deep relationship with him now how can you get to that place by constantly walking with the Lord. The Bible says, join yet to me and I will join yet to you. The Bible tells us how people became Christians in, in Acts chapter 11, verse 26. The last part in verse 26 tells us, and the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. So they were first called Christians in Antioch because they behaved like Jesus. What does it mean to be a Christian? You are a disciple of Christ. That means you are walking like Jesus. You are talking like Jesus. Your attitude is like Jesus. Everything about you is like Jesus. I realize that this is a process and we are all in at different places in our work with the Lord. But at least begin that work with the Lord. Don't pretend to be what you're not. See, a lot of people are very much into competition in church. Sisters especially. We go to church to go and slay. So that they will know that we too we have come. But that is not what God is calling us to do. God is calling us to a deep place of relationship. The other day, the Holy Spirit showed me Luke chapter 8, verse 4 to 8. I would read 4 to 8, then I would jump to 11 to 15. And when a great multitude had gathered, they had come to him from every city. He spoke by a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trampled down the beds of the earth, devoured it. Some fell by the rock. And as soon as it sprang up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. And others fell on good ground, sprang up, yielded the crop a hundredfold. And when he had said those things, he cried, he who has ears, let him hear. Now, verse 11 to 15 says, Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are ones who hear, then the devil comes and takes the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. Now, the Bible teaches us that we are constantly being saved. Even though you are saved when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ, there is the saving of your soul. Now, how does that work? By constantly dwelling on the word of God. So if you have not, if you don't have time to dwell on the word of God and you just let the word disappear from your heart, sister, my brother, you are in trouble. You must let the word of God dwell richly in you and constantly grow and bear fruit. So that Satan will not steal your life. Because Satan wants to steal your life. And the only way you can safeguard yourself is by the spirit and by the word of God. No, but the second type of persons is the ones who hear. Or the ones or the ones on the rock are those who when they hear and receive the word with joy. These have no root. Who believe for a while. And in time of temptation they fall away. Are you one of those people that if God has not given you that child for five years. You are like ah God I am going to say Baba to eat something. Because this Bible is not working. The Bible calls us, Christianity is a faith of endurance. You must endure. The Bible says, endure like a good show soldier. Being a Christian is war. It is war against the kingdom of darkness. And if you don't endure, and how can you get stamina to endure? The Bible says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So the stamina to endure will come from God's word alone. Did you do your devotion today? Have you studied the word of God? This is how to build relationship with God. Something to think about. Now, the ones that fell among the thorns are those who, when they heard, go out and are choked with cares, riches, and pleasures of life and bring no fruit to maturity. If you are worried about a lot of things that have nothing to do with God, <laughs> you are in error. Because it will choke your faith. You cannot think about thinking about how to make money and you are listening to God. It is because you, all you're doing is you're not, there's no dependence on God. There is dependence on yourself and how to solve that issue. But if you think about the word of God, the Bible says a cattle on a thousand hill belongs to the Lord. He's able to provide all my needs according to his riches and glory. When you think of dwell on such things, then the ideas will drop into your spirit on what to do. But if you are worried about um, ah, that, loan of, that loan of two million, how do I stop in it? Then you would shock the word one and then there will be no maturity. Because the, the human body, we're not designed to worry. God is the one that can handle all of that. So why don't you just leave everything at the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ and focus on him. Focus on the word. God, Jesus, the Bible tells us that Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. Now the last one is, but the ones that fell on the good ground, this is verse 15, are those who haven't heard the word with a noble heart. Noble and good heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. Hmm. You must bear fruit. God wants us to bear fruit. And how can we bear fruit? By Hearing the word of God with a noble heart, be open and then let it dwell in you. How do you let it dwell in you? I've said that before. By reading God's word, meditating, deliberately walking with the Lord. And then you will bear fruit. And then you'll be able to stand when adversity comes. These are the same people that the Lord can use. The Bible says in Second Timothy chapter 2, I'll start verse 19. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands having the seal the lord knows just who are his now let everyone who names the name of the lord depart from iniquity 
So God is inviting us to depart from iniquity. In a great house, they are not only vessels of gold and silver, but of wood, of clay, some for honor, some for dishonor. So we must just, just live your life for Jesus, people of God. That's just the entire point. Live your life for Jesus. Let the Lord walk with you as you read his word and um, meditate and just take his face. Have a blessed week and see you next week. Bye.